In 2018, the National Assembly gave us drama, nail-bite intention, and lots and lots to talk about. One of the most remarkable incidents occurred right here, and that was the barricade of a National Assembly by security operatives. This is all about APC, this is all about CDC, this is Nigeria versus of all about the barricade. And now what's this problem from that job police? That would have been assassinated every day. Police cannot do anything. We have our ID. News filtered in early in the morning of August 7th that security operatives from the Department of State Service had barricaded the National Assembly, preventing staff, lawmakers, as well as journalists from assessing the Assembly. Hours later, the lawmakers were eventually allowed access. Tensions had been brewing weeks to this point after some legislators from the ruling All Progressives Congress led by Senate President Bukola Saraki, defected to the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. The ruling APC condemned the defections and called for the removal of a Senate president. The blockade of a National Assembly, coming amidst APC's calls for the removal of a Senate president, was condemned and led to the immediate sack of DSS boss Lawal Daura. The day after, the Senate president accused the APC of plotting his removal. The siege was also an act cowardice by those seeking to carry out an illegal impeachment of leaders of the Senate in flagrant disregard of the law. The blockade was a boiling point after the defections of legislators, notably the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, creating a situation where, for the first time in the history of the country, the leadership of a National Assembly fell into the hands of the opposition. But nothing was quite as shocking and daring as a snatching of a Senate maze in the full glare of Nigerians. On April 17, unmasked men accompanied and battled lawmaker Senator Ovie Omagege into the Senate chamber and forcefully extracted the maze in the full glare of lawmakers. The Senate had earlier suspended Senator Omagege over remarks he made insinuating that the amendment of the 2010 Electoral Act, which sets a sequence for general elections, is targeted at President Buhari. Following the theft of the maze, the police picked up Senator Omar Gege on the day of the incident, and the National Assembly launched an investigation into the matter. The relationship between the National Assembly and the Executive has rarely been smooth sailing, but things got to a head in 2018. President Buhari has rejected over 20 bills sent to him for assent, including the much-anticipated Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, which had been passed after years of failed attempts, and the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, which President Buhari rejected four times. The president lost a good opportunity to present himself as a reformer of our electoral process. The frosty relationship between the National Assembly and the executive reached a crescendo during President Buhari's presentation of a 2019 appropriation bill. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It sets the stage for what is a first in the history of the Nigerian parliament, the heckling and booing of the president, which led to an abrupt end of a ceremony. There's no great speaker in history, in political history, that has not been heckled. From Martin Luther King, history has it that um, when Martin Luther King was once heckled, it was after he was heckled that he delivered one of the best speeches ever, I Have a Dream. Okay? Harry, Harry Truman was severely heckled, Ronald Reagan, recent history, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and even Trump. And of course, even a few, a week, a few weeks ago, Theresa May. 2018 will go down in history as a year where the Eighth Assembly passed a record number of legislations. But their criminal's relationship between the Executive and the National Assembly cast a long shadow over governance in the country. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.